Hi there, Simon from simonwoods.com. Viognier and Torrentes, what do they have in common? Uh, I suppose they're a bit aromatic, and I suppose that they both feature in this video. Two Torrentes, three Viogniers. Uh, so uh, let's just dig in, let's see whether I've got them in the right order. I'm doing Torrentes first. So the first one is um, uh, from La Rioja in Argentina, and it's uh, the, from the, the Perpetuum Premium from the Jimenez Grilli Winery. Give it a whirl. I have to say Torrentes isn't my uh, favourite grape variety. I find a lot of them on that uh, lime jelly side. Uh, and I would say the same about this one. It's, it, it feels like that little bit of jelly cube. Yes, with an overlay of ginger in there, but um, smells like it's going to be okay. Maybe just a little bit too much of the uh, uh, lemon washing up liquid. Tastes a bit better than lemon washing up liquid and the spice isn't too rich um, but um, yeah juicy jelly um, perfectly pleasant but um, for me it's not an extra mile wine that I uh, I might uh, I might have a second glass I not sure let's see whether we can get, do better with wine number two which is a Mirena Torrentes um, from the uh, has it, is Mirena the name of the winery looks like it let's give it a whirl Again, we're on that lime jelly, lemon jelly. Uh, it smells a little bit more floral than the first one. Uh, does it smell better? Let's try it. A little bit more body, a little bit more perfume than the first one. I think it's half a degree higher in alcohol. 14% compared with um, 13%. And um, I, I, they're, they're, they're both okay. Probably marginally prefer the, uh, the, the Morena. Uh, but um, uh, when I see Argentina trying to make uh, Torrentes its signature grape, I'm not sure that it's it's a great idea. It's 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 okay, and uh, it doesn't grow too many other places. But um, uh, it's not something to be for me. It's not something to be proud of. <laughs> hey, that's just me. Uh, let's try the three Viognier's, uh, all from France. Uh, two from the Rhone, but starting off with uh, Viognier de la, Ch la de la Chevalier uh, from uh, La Roche. Uh, La Roche, the uh, company that uh, originated in Chablis and has now uh, fingers in uh, various pies around France. So this is uh, Pédoc. Give it a whirl. Well, it seems to be, it, it looks like it's going to be as round and rich as the uh, Mirena, uh, but it's strange thing of Viognier is being a little bit more subtle uh, than anything. Here, here it feels like there, there is a, a, a floral, creamy, rich peachiness about it. Uh, not so much of that uh, slight disinfectant washing up liquid edge of, of Torrentes. It doesn't smell like it's going to be amazingly complex, but it um, smells okay. And you've got some of the um, that peach kernel, um, uh, a, bit of, a little bit of the dried apricot, nuts and cream. Um, really good Viognier, I, that actually. Not sure what the price is, uh, but uh, the danger with Viognier uh, is um, as it ripens, its acidity falls off rapidly uh, and you need to pick it um, soon enough so there's still some freshness in there, uh, but not so soon that those more exotic, the peachy nut kernel elements haven't developed. Here, I think they've done, they've, they've done a good job and um, I do like it. Uh, let's head to the Rhone. Um, so both of these, um, one's labelled Cote de Rhone, one is Condrio, but um, I think this one probably, uh, <laughs> it's, it's as near as damn it to Condrio. Uh, it's Pierre Gaillard, Cote de Rhone, Légendrine, um, so Viognier from, from the Northern Rhone, and I think the vines are just outside the Condrio appellation. Uh, so are we getting Condrio uh, quality at Cote de Rhone price? Uh, well, let's have a see. Well, this smells like a, a fatter, fuller proposition. Um, uh, a couple of things I noticed. One of them is, uh, is like a buttery, creamy character. Uh, and I'm not sure whether that part of that is to do with malolactic fermentation or, um, or to do with the aging on the lees, uh, the sediment left, off, after, left over after fermentation. But um, maybe a combination of the two. Uh, other thing, it feels more floral, uh, so you're getting uh, a honeysuckle, um, yeah, jasmine, more blossom characters coming through here. Feels like it's going to be a weightier wine, but um, better? Let's have a see. Really tasty, that. Um, it's got this exotic, rich confidence about it. And it's one of those that is not afraid to uh, show a little bit of flesh, um, It's uh, because it has got the flesh to flaunt. 
I was saying before about uh, Viognier needing uh, uh, needing to be sufficiently ripe for that exotic character to uh, uh, to fully come out. Here it is really up there, and it's sort of coming up to you, wobbling with confidence. Uh, juicy, ripe peachy there's this earthy nut kernel and uh, dried apricot character coming through um very tasty wine uh, one of the problems i see is with viognier is people try and match that with uh, food to be honest my I, I, the, when i like to drink viognier is like that it's just as a start of the meal as uh, chilled slightly not too much uh, so it, it, you you don't lose any of that th those exotic fragrances but sufficiently cool that um, some of its more wobbly bits are just reined in slightly but uh, pretty impressive wine final one um condrio um, and this is uh, from Stefan Montes, Vignoble du Montaillet, uh, Les Grands Chailles, 2010 vintage. Give it a whirl. Now, the Gaillard wine was uh, all about richness and power. Here, I get more of a, a earthy, stony mineral character. Yes, there's the exotic bits, there's the floral perfume, uh, and there's the peachy fruit. Uh, but it feels to be girded uh, together by... Um, yeah, by this stony minerality. Uh, and uh, yes, there's, there's, uh, I'm, I'm not sure w whether there's granite in the soil here that's, uh, uh, that's holding it all together, but it feels, it feels rich but restrained. It, uh, it, it, if, if, this is, if, if the Gaillard is the exuberant one, uh, this is the um, serious but uh, takes its glasses off, lets its hair down, and you say, good golly, Miss Jones, you're beautiful. Well, am I wrong? Let's have a see. Yeah, classy stuff, that. Um, You've got this lovely spice and, and floral uh, richness um, and there's a juicy nuttiness and there is this proud peachy fruit but it's maybe not as voluptuous as the, the previous one. It's, um, it's confident again uh, uh, but it's a bit more svelte, it's got slightly higher cheekbones. Um, it's not as ostentatious as the previous one uh, but for me it's more subtle and um, uh, whereas I think the uh, uh, the Gaillard one is is, is a lovely, uh, ki almost kiss me quick type of wine. Uh, this one is slightly more profound, slightly more cerebral, um, and still got those exotic juicy notes. Uh, so you, you don't you're not missing out on the pleasure. But here you've got a little bit of uh, brain with the brawn. Uh, pick of the wines for me. Um, and um, sorry, Torrentes, uh, you didn't do it in this tasting. But uh, the three Viognier's were were excellent. I'll see you soon.